What's going on, people? Today, we're going to get into how to make money in a recession and the things that you need to invest into. Since YouTube is just being a bad, bad child, I have to uh, go ahead and let people know where this is because someone in the, their brilliance did not <laughs> see fit to go ahead and let's see. Aha, there it is. Okay. All right, so hold on a second while I let people know where we are. We are here. YouTube is suspect. All right. So we've let the people know. And I'm going to let the room fill up. I got a few questions for the folks who are coming in. How many of you have lived through a recession? Yes, YouTube is being a very bad child because all of a sudden that old way isn't working. But hold on a second. Everybody here who has lived through a recession and what were your experiences? Put that in the chat. And also, I'm about to go ahead and do this again. We're getting there, man. And I think this is a good example of how you can't let misfortunate events dictate your circumstances. Because I remember when this stuff used to drive me crazy. But today's title is How to Make Money During a Recession. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks because like i did last night it won't be like last night it won't be as hot <laughs> as it was last night but we will be talking about some stuff all right oh let's go here that should have everybody where they need to be let's see what's going on okay now we're going to do things a little differently today. There will not be a 50% off anything because uh, what I want you guys to do is to become very good at sales. If you can become very good at sales, it doesn't matter what's going on with the economy. These, the, I mean, seriously, it, it doesn't because there are always people who need people who know how to sell. That is never going away. Now say this after me. There are always people who need people who know how to sell. It's not going anywhere. All right. So let me see. Get my lighting situation. Eh, that's too bright. We'll just leave it like this. So just hold on a second while I get this together. Because the only thing that's going to be for sale today, and I'm picking this for you, is going to be the Never Broke Action Pack. So that's going to be the only thing that's going to be for sale. And I'm going to tell you why that is very, very important. And I'm going to take 50% off of that. And we're going to go Never. Here we go. Never broke action pack. So the only thing for sale is the bundle. And the code word today is going to be hustle. We're going to keep it simple. Hustle. Now, the link's not below. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on a second. I will uh, get that link for you. All right. Now, we should be able to get on. Good Lord. I got a lot of stuff going on here. All right. So this is the link. And this is only good during the stream. And the code word today is hustle. So. All right. So that's the code Good Lord. There we go. Hustle. 
That's the code word proper case at checkout for the never broke action pack. That's the only thing for sale today. You get 50% off of that. And I'm going to give you the, let's see, make sure I got some mods in here. Oh, cool. Thank you, Diana. Appreciate you. Thank you, Raquel. All right. So the first thing is fuck Bitcoin. I know a lot of you are kind of like, what is the price at? Because I'm going to get rid of this right now because someone's going to ask and I'm going to say, fuck Bitcoin. Bitcoin does not have the principles of something to build real durable wealth. Can people make a lot of money with Bitcoin? Absolutely. But don't do it. Don't get into it. All right. So let's see. That's the price of Bitcoin right now. And I predicted it'll be five grand or less by May. Looks like we're getting there. All right. So no Bitcoin. Now, what should you put your money, time and energy into? Well, I've got a list of steps and tips that you need to do. Number one, you need to save 10 to 30 grand. If you don't have any money, you need to get busy. Number two, you want to eliminate debt. Number three, invest in what people need. Now, let's talk about that real quick. During the recession, because the upscale garage sale was up in business 2007, 2008, 2009. We had a great year, 2008. Why did we have a great year? Washer and dryers, sofas, mattresses, clothes. We sold a lot of things that people need. Because during the recession, what's going to happen is people, thrift stores are going to be crazy. eBay is going to be crazy because everyone's going to start looking for ways to stretch their dollar. So anything that helps people stretch their dollar, that's where you want to be. Invest in vices. All right. During this next recession, Liquor sales are going to boom. Weed sales are going to boom. Pussy sales are going to boom. Strip clubs. I don't know, but essentially everyone's going to adjust their pricing. So maybe they'll boom. But sex, porn. Did you know that anybody can sign up for Pornhub, porn, whatever, and start live streaming your sexual acts and get paid for it? I'm serious. That's going to boom because it's already booming. Has anyone ever wondered why there is no shortage of women getting into porn? They have to turn chicks away. They don't, they just come lining up. So that's going to boom. Invest in bad habits. Let's talk about this. Um, recently, I lost some more weight because I got serious because I didn't gain the weight back. But I looked at my bad habits. Soda had to go. Uh, other things had to go. Five pounds in like two weeks because I eliminated my bad habits. Now, here's why you want to invest in bad habits. Bad habits are hard, hard to eliminate. If you have a business that serves people's bad habits, you will make money. That's just facts. People don't change. It's hard. Change is hard. So you want to invest in bad habits. You want to invest in guns. If you're in a state like Georgia or the South, you want to get yourself minimum two to three guns and some ammo. Not necessarily to save, but if you need it like $500 real quick and you sold two guns, that'll get it for you. People always like buying guns in the proper states. If you're in one of those anti-gun states or they have a lot of laws, be very careful with this. Invest in ammo. Invest in gold. All right. So let's see what the price of gold is because the price of gold is going to go up. So if you're going to invest in gold, you need to invest in gold right now. Yes, right now. So let's see price of gold. Because I have gold. I still have my gold from the storage auction days. I never sold it. Well, I sold some of it, but I didn't sell the, the, the nicer stuff. Price of gold. See what that's doing. 
Hmm. This is very interesting. Uh, gold is going for 13.34 for an ounce. Let's see if we can see that. So, yeah, I got to hold it just right. So that's the price of gold. Gold has gone up. Gold has been up and down, up and down, but definitely not where it used to be. Let me blow this chart up and make sure that. Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's goldprice.org. So it is $13.34 an ounce, $42. Wow, forty-two dollars a gram. You know, I used to buy gold for five dollars and ten dollars, five five dollars and thirty cents at the Apparel Mart a gram. Price per kilo forty-two thousand. So you want to get yourself some gold, and you're going to need to make those moves now. You want to get yourself some silver. You need to make those moves now. Listen to people. When you listen to people, you will get intel that you're not going to get from the general populace. I had lunch with a friend, and he said, you know, this is just strange. I know it's supposed to be good, but so many people are suffering. I just really think we're going to have a recession because I'm talking to my friend. People, people who are paying attention are feeling this. So that's another thing. All right, so you want to invest in silver. Listen to people. Now, this is real important. Do not wait until you get all of your ingredients for your hustle together. Let's say you want to start selling washer and dryers. You got some money. You, you kind of know the market. Buy a washer and dryer. Try to sell it. Because doing that, you're going to learn so much more, so much faster than trying to study other people who are supposedly doing it who are not even misleading you. It's just when you do stuff and then you tell other people, you leave stuff out because you're so used to doing it. So you got 40% of it. Go ahead, start selling, start making your mistakes now. No accounts receivable. You want to deal in cash now businesses. You don't want to get into a cleaning company where you got, you're going to get paid at the end of the month because during the recession, there are going to be a lot of businesses that's going to go out of business and they're going to be cleaning companies and all these account receivable people. They're not going to get paid. They're not. That's going to be a problem. So you don't want to be in that position. So no accounts receivable, no net due. I do the service. I get paid. That's the kind of businesses you want to be operating in. Oh, yeah. Get a safe deposit box. This is where you're going to be keeping your cash because if you're going to be out here hustling, 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 y'all remember that, illicitly, this is going to be money that's going to be off the books. You can't put it in the bank, but you have access to your safe deposit box five to six days a week. Get yourself a safe deposit box. I have three. And you want to get it at a safe haven bank. This is going to be your Chase. This is going to be your Wells Fargo. This is going to be your PNC. A lot of these community banks could be subject to seizure or closure. So you, you want to get with one of the big boys because even if they get in trouble because they're so big, they're going to get bailed out. So that's where you want to do that. Now, that's just the preliminaries. Now, reason I want you and everyone to buy because I'm going to go through these comments. The Never Broke Action Pack. And I'm putting it right there. Because I learned this. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Because I learned some stuff. I saw them do this over there. All right. So that's the link to the Never Broke Action Pack. You get 50% off using that hustle. Only during the stream. It's going to disappear after the stream. Now, you want to start hustling now. Because I know a lot of you listened to last night. A lot of y'all got riled up. And uh, shout out to the white supremacists that attacked the stream. That was funny. I'm going to take a minute to talk about this. That video wasn't titled something black. 
but they still came, which lets me know they've been watching me because they came. You know what this fool said? That most of the serial killers and the mass murderers are black. Now, everybody and their mother knows that most of them are white, like 99% of them. But this is a this is diff, this is called a campaign of disinformation, aka fake news. They're putting out these safe, safe uh, these fake news things. They're talking about certain things because they want to change the narrative. And the fact that I have these fools on my channel really tells me a lot. Shocked me because uh, I, obviously I thought they were gone, but they're here. So hello, fuckers. Now. Why did I mention that? Because a lot of people are like, I ain't in the race thing. I don't want to talk about the race thing. Race was created because of economics. See, racism didn't come before economics. Economics came and racism was an institution to keep that stuff in place to keep the economics up. So if you want to defeat racism, you need to get your economics up. I'm not playing with y'all on this one because I've had people, you lucky this. I can't be lucky with my interactions with the police over four decades. That ain't luck. <laughs> that ain't luck. It's a certain way that you could do some things. So get your money up, get your LLCs together, and you will have a certain level of protection that the average person doesn't do because there's dang Daniel Locke. He's got a channel on here. He's an Asian dude. He talks a lot of shit, but his stuff is fire. Check him out. I am not in the business of helping losers become winners. I'm in the business of helping people who are already win, win more. That's what we're about here. So if you want to get on and I've had people ask about email lists, the only email list I have is called the buyer's list. These are people who bought products. That's the only email list I have. I'm not creating another one. So you got to really start stroking it out on your hustle. Now, a lot, let's talk about the secondary market because a lot of you, and I'm not trying to be disingenuous. I'm not trying to talk down to you. A lot of you don't have a seasoned hustle or seasoned hustleability skills, but don't worry about that. Go to Craigslist, start selling stuff now. During the recession, the secondary market takes off. Now, what's the secondary market? First, there's the primary market. That's when you go to Macy's, Neiman Marcus, you buy some new Target. That's the primary market. Secondary market, eBay used, Amazon used, Craigslist used, Facebook. That's the secondary market. The secondary, secondary market is going to explode. So you need, you know, if you don't have a lot of hustle skills and things like that, that's where you need to be in the secondary market, learning and building up on your sales skills as soon as possible. All right, so I'm going to read some of these comments because this is a little different stream. And once again, I'm going to put this up here. Oh, man, uh, that was crazy. There we go. Be sure to get the Never Broke Action Pack, 50% off. That's the only thing for sale today. And the code word is hustle, the promo word. Now, selling fundamentally is one of the greatest skill sets that you can give yourself. If you learn how to sell, how to prospect, how to present, this will help you with making money. This will help you with building wealth. This will help you with getting women. So that is part of it. Uh, so I'm going to go through these comments real quick. And I'm probably going to go. Let's see. I just saw this. Ronnie McIntyre. The action pack is 50% off. of four. Yes, that's correct. All right. So we're going to go to the beginning. What's up, Cashmatic? What's up, Michael Dennis? Johnny from <laughs> YouTube is tripping. What's up, Dwayne Bryant? Ridiculous TV. Johnny from short change. All right, Cashmatic. Anthony Johnson, another live streams. All right, 30 days to 2500 has been doing you well. Now, see, that's an organic 
testimonial. That's what I do. I don't do this fake stuff. That's he's actually doing the course because this is the thing. If you do the work, you will get results. So congratulations, Anthony Johnson. Uh, just a recession of 2009. It's tough to get a job. Jasmine, what's up? Ridiculous TV got laid off twice. Johnny Frome been laid off many times. Charlene McKinney, I have. It was hard, but I survived. Kathy Williams, I lived through one recession. My job made the drivers take all, all the drivers take a pay cut. Listen to that. All the drivers. Do you understand what's going to happen to teachers during this recession? If you notice that teachers across the land are walking out because of these deplorable conditions that they're teaching our kids. When this recession hits, and I want you to understand something, you hear it here and no one else is going to talk about it. Tent cities that are in Los Angeles are going to spread across the land because there are so many people who are on the precipice of falling off and being in that situation. So once the recession hits, once tours of us close, once these stores close, once these jobs close, then the trickle down effect is, oh, tours of us is closed. Their, their employees used to eat at this McDonald's. Well, this McDonald's lost 30% of his business. Well, this McDonald's moves because McDonald's don't close. What they do is they move the franchise. So all of a sudden, you got people taking pay cuts. Pay cuts, they have less money to spend, so they strap, and it trickles on down to where it gets rough. Uh, what's up, Raquel? Light and love. I was grinding with two jobs after I lost my good one. Ganja, I remember the layoffs in 2008 and foreclosures. Wonderful. Wonderland way. Sure did. Everyone quit shopping. Mainstream media had a hard on and wouldn't report on it by the nonstop. <laughs> Cash man went from 60 hours a week to get kicked out by 40. Dwayne Bryant, I grew up doing Reaganomics administrations and times was hard. Yeah, I was a kid back then. Um, didn't really know what it meant, but I knew my mother had less money. Welcome, Don Jay. Dante J. Anthony Johnson, 2008, I was just graduating uh, school. My mind wasn't where it is now. I was a college football player. Wonderland, I didn't know better at the time, so I was making money hand over fist. One of the things that happens during the recession, Wells Fargo, one of the largest banks in the country, grew during the Great Recession. There are a lot of opportunities. We'll see the opportunities will not be there for people with no money. It will not be there for people with no hustle. It will not be there for people who are ass out. There will be opportunity. I'm going to tell you a story in a minute after, a, you know, I'm going to tell it because I'll forget it. When I first started the storage auction business, I was a scared little bitch. So I would only go out with two, three, four hundred bucks. I didn't want to spend too much. I had money in the bank, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to spend too much. I used to get my ass handed to me in auctions every time I went out for the, about the first six weeks. It's like, what? And then I went to the bank and I took out three grand. And then I started getting units. Now, if I didn't have that money, I wouldn't I wouldn't be before you today. I wouldn't have wrote that book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage. You know, none of that would happen. Now, speaking of auctions, I don't think that storage auctions are ever going to go back to what they were. Because all of these storage facilities have been convinced that because they make more money online and they don't have to walk around. They don't have to take time off. They don't have to have an employee tied up with the auctions and you pay up online and you come get it. Uh, I was Marquise Barton. I was 23 when the 08 recession hit. Didn't have a clue on what was going on. Had to take advantage of it. B. Hill, last recession, I bought a bunch of undervalued stock for dirt cheap. Now, I want you to talk. I, I want to I mention something about that. All right, we got B. Hill. If you've got money right now, you don't want to put it in the stock market. You want to do what B. Hill has done. 
because I estimate 12 to 20 months, maybe sooner with the great orange one in the White House, we're going to be having this problem. And when the stock market crash really bottoms out, that's going to be the time to buy. You can't get Google stock. You can't get a, a Berkshire Hathaway because I think it's like 200 bucks because the recession is going to punish all stocks, good or bad. So that's a good point, B. Hill. What's up, the Wild Jones Report? Dante, also just land a job only for income coming in purposes. Feel good. Oh, yeah, it always feels good when you got more money than you need. What's up, Rob Nelson? Cashmatic started hiding the car in the next apartment complex 60 days behind. That's real. Now, I want you to think about something now. All cars now have low jack or some type of GPS. If you got a relatively new one, you understand what that means. Because that's just real. Long time ago when I used to do stupid stuff like take stuff to the pawn shop, I did a title loan. Couldn't pay it. I had to hide my car for a week until I got some money to pay them. I had to hide my car. I had to walk around like that dude from burn notice going over fences and stuff to get to my car because if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have a car. That's real. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. Uh, no, it's hustle all lowercase. You should not be getting any errors. So I'll check on that later. Aha, hold on a second. Hold on a second. There we go. All right. Made a mistake there. All right. I had taken $50 off plus not 50%. All right, so now it's fixed. It's going to, you go ahead and put the coupon in. It will be 50% off. My bad. So thanks for letting me know that. Um, once again, let's put the link here because I know some of y'all tried to buy it and were like, is he playing with us? No, I wasn't playing. I made a mistake. All right. And the code word is hustle lowercase. All right. Um, Let's see. Agent J. Poole, most South Koreans got suckered by Bitcoin and they're really taking it in the face. Article ran on it today. I, I want y'all to look at me. Now, I've been talking about Bitcoin wasn't shit since last year. And I talked about it when it was still going up and I talked about it. And I had people mock me. You can't read charts. Who's laughing now? I didn't go for it. And I'm going to tell you something. I looked around YouTube. Everybody that was making legitimate money didn't buy Bitcoin or buy into it. Or they didn't buy a lot. Everyone that was like already doing 20, 30, 40, 100 Gs a month. It's like, yeah, Bitcoin's nice, but I, I'm not doing that. Thank you, Agent J. Paul, because, see, I, I've come down off my Bitcoin thing, but I still have my opinion about it. And I think a lot of people are going to take it on the chin because they bought on these dips, right? But if you notice, Bitcoin hasn't been able to get past 10 Gs. And if it gets past 10 Gs, like the other day, it crossed um, like seven briefly, and it went right back to six something. Watch it. When it, when it starts melting down, it's going to be instantaneous. When it really starts melting down. Rockstone, early 1980s recession. Remember dad out of work at a factory job. Mom kept her job at the hospital. Changed the family dynamic. Was like Florida and James Evans up in there. What's going to happen? And I'm going to talk about your relationships. And this is why you need to hustle. If you, as the man of the house, because I'm going to do a video talking about every woman wants a millionaire. And I'm going to explain this deeply on Disruptive Mail. You're the man of the house. You get laid off. She got to pick up your slack. She done picked up your nuts, bro. And she may love you, but she ain't going to respect you. 
You got a month or two where you can be out of work. But after that, she's going to start freaking out. She's going to start getting nervous. She she Because her security has gone. So you're going to have a mess on your hands. That's why I'm saying hustle. That's why I'm saying get yourself, get your economics together before you get married and have kids. Because they're going to freak out. And you're going to see a lot of Jody's going to get your girl. Yes, Jody's coming for your girl during this recession. Because she ain't going to leave you during the recession because she can't afford a place on her own unless you're just completely 100% useless, then maybe she'll leave you. But if you're bringing in some of some side jobs, she ain't going nowhere. The divorce rate is at an all-time low right now. That doesn't jive with a healthy economy. If the economy was booming like Fox News wants you to believe, CNN, MSNBC wants you to believe, the divorce rate would be up because people will have money to get the hell on. They don't have money to get the hell on. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, Bitcoin tanked hard. It was never real. Uh, Diana Thompson, present. I'm going to go over that again. Sensei Snowden, do people need T-shirts with designs or is that a luxury? If you sell a T-shirt that has a message, people will buy in the recession because they become part of the community. (laughs) Excuse me. Well, if you can get into weapons manufacturing, that takes a lot of money. Cigarettes, that's a good one, common sense. Invest in guns. Diana Thompson, rolling machine for cigarettes, $150,000. Dang, I didn't know it was that much. I know it was some money. Common sense, so when is the recession coming? I suspect within 12 to 20 months or sooner. Really? A lot of thumbs down? Well, that would be the white supremacists who are now visiting my channel. And I'm going to tell you why they're visiting my channel. I am giving you guys information to make you competitive. I am giving you guys information that's going to, because this is how it goes. What they'll do is they'll go out and get all their little troll buddies and they'll come in and they'll thumbs down. But see, YouTube doesn't weigh in the factor of thumbs down or thumbs up. But a lot of dumbasses don't know that. You know, you never hear me asking for thumbs up. That's a vanity metric, but for YouTube internally, it means nothing. (laughs) Because what they're going to do is they're going to come in, down, thumbs down it, right? And they're going to leave. Ain't going to really do anything to the trajectory of the video at all. Nothing. Um, Vest in silver. Okay. Where are we at? Key, where do I buy gold and silver from? There's a certain side of the place. Well, let me give you a little game. Let me give you a little business advice. What you do is you place an ad on Craigslist and you say, we buy gold. Because you remember when all of those we buy gold stores were everywhere and now a lot of them just went out of business? Well, there's a lot of people who bought gold when it was cheap and it's broken or something and just start getting it that way. Because you want to get your gold for less than spot price because your spot price and what you buy it for, that's going to be your profit. So Craigslist, garage sales, estate sales, but you better hurry because once this thing starts melting down and more people know about it, a lot of stuff's going to get expensive real quick. Food's going to get expensive. Gas is going to get expensive. Health insurance is going to get expensive. Gold, silver is going to get expensive. Uh, All right, all right. So let's go down here. Rockasaka, how long do you think this next recession will last? Great question. Three to five years or longer. And we'll tell you why in a minute. 
Dante J, are those safe deposit boxes safe? What happens if they're, well, that's why I said get into safe haven banks, because what you can do is look online at the banks that have the highest ratings. And that's where you put your money in, in your box. All right. <laughs> you enjoyed last night's video. I was upset. Kevin, that was a real estate. I am telling y'all, a recession is coming. And a lot of people going to be getting caught flat-footed. Yeah, Rakasaka. He, I mean, that was some funny stuff. Pretty much, Kevin. Exactly, Ganja. Those people are scared because, see, this is something else, too. Um, let's talk about white privilege. Now, I'm going to get a lot of blowback, but white privilege doesn't exist the way that it once did. Donald Trump has white privilege. Donald Trump has privilege of wealth. Donald Trump has the privilege of celebrity. He's got three of them. The, quote, normal, good old boy white privilege doesn't exist anymore. The good old white boy, his woman makes more money than he does. How is that privilege? But people keep talking about it because they have this privilege, right, which makes people feel angry, which divides people. I've been watching this for years. When I had that store and these white people, because that's how I knew something was going on, because our business was great. Our business was booming, but I started to get a lot of white customers. Most of our customer base were a few white people who, who I came every weekend who were garage sale hunters, thrift hunters, you know, that type of type. But the vast majority were immigrants, Hispanic, number one, Asian and Indian. And then the people who came in for Craigslist. All right. Let's see. No, it actually hasn't been around since Neanderthals. Short change. <laughs> no, don't invest in the market now. Everything's about to melt down if you wait 12 months or 20 months or sooner. Because, see, this is the thing. We got Mr. Dumbass in office. And once again, we are not the United States we used to be. We cannot deal with a trade war because I think he's going to capitulate. What's up, Anthony ba Bass? <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to put the link to the action pack in again. Uh, whoa, whoa. All right. Troy Glover, some of these cars are wired with GPS that can shut your car off if you're behind on payments. Yep. What's up, Hot Song Beats? What's up, Johnny Walden? Thanks for being a mod. Dante J, that's true. My wife had a huge attitude when I only had my business and not an extra job. She didn't leave, but she did have a whack attitude for a while. One of the things, and I talked about this more on Disruptive Mail, is women are programmed to nest, and to nest, you need security. So they ain't no security. They ain't no nesting. They freaking out. Uh, Glendon, how do you think apartments will do during the upcoming recession? Um, what happened around here, and this is a luxury market, prices came down. There's this joint. When they opened up, they were trying to charge $2,500 for a two-bedroom. And I went in there, and that price came down to $1,450, uh, over a $1,000 drop. So that's what's going to happen. And then you may have some projects that may not be completed because they didn't run out of money. What's up, Lamote? Man at my church, DoorDash and Uber working 50 hours a week at Dale because his wife is a nurse is pregnant and not working. A 70K year income gone. They don't know. Maybe she's sick. Maybe she can't work. 
What's up, Everlasting Glow? I was thinking canned food. You get, all right, this is one of the things that vices do very well in recessions. People are depressed. Drug usage goes up during recessions. Alcohol, alcoholism goes up during recessions. People are trying to deaden that pain. <laughs> they need to go hug some strangers. All right. All right. Let's see where we are with that. And how much do you think silver will go up? I don't really know. I just know it's going to go up. Brewski, I'm in a small town. Craig's not, it's not working for well development. I need to move. Pretty much. All right, let's see. Terrence Bell, what's Glennon? What's about web and app development for hustling in a recession? This is something that's starting to happen. People with the skills to build the internet, once they wise up, they stop building the internet for other people and they start building the internet for themselves. So that happens. Uh, I don't know about that. See, this is the thing that you have to understand. Automation and efficiency is getting better and better each month. What that means is, let's say a defense contracting plant took 500 employees to be run, to run with new automation. They can run that, that plant and be make more products and be more efficient with 200 employees. So I don't know. Uh, Y'all saw what happened in the last recession. Nurses got laid off. Policemen got laid off. Teachers got laid off. There ain't no such job as a recession proof job. It is if whatever you're doing is still hot or is needed. Okay. But if you, if, if what you're doing doesn't contribute to the bottom line, your ass is expendable. That's just facts. What's up, Anthony? Uh, Rodney McIntyre, don't you need a license to sell alcohol? Let me stop, hold the presses. When I was living in the boarding house, there was what's called a bootleg house. And this guy would go to Sam's Club or costco and buy a bunch of beer and he would sell the beer for a dollar on sundays because there was no way you can buy it now i'm gonna say this again this ain't for everybody but if you are gonna let a little thing because like i said i there's a legal murder selling drugs killing people uh doing heinous crime assault and stuff i ain't i'm not talking about that i'm talking about illegal illegal like speeding or selling something and not paying your taxes. That's what I'm talking about. But hey, you got people doing that right now. Let's see. I had a friend that just started a coffee business. Coffee shops are notoriously hard to run. Ganji, where I work, people still trying to figure out how to utilize our stuff in the meantime I'm working on another source of income simon says the bootleggers it ain't for the weak of heart all right so uh, i'm gonna put this in here and make sure that i put it where you don't get a 401 error okay oh that's the never broke action pack Includes the sales course and the code word is hustle. That's interesting. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go over the list again. Fuck Bitcoin. Don't even think about it. Don't even talk about it. First thing you need to do is save 10 to 30 grand. 
because you will need some money to take advantage of these extraordinary opportunities that will present themselves. If you're a broke dick, Danny, penless Priscilla, these opportunities might as well not exist because you won't have money to take advantage. Eliminate debt. We talked about it yesterday. Invest in what people need. Invest in vices. Invest in bad habits. Invest in guns. Invest in ammo. Invest in gold. Invest in silver. Listen to people because your location, there might be some good hustles that only work in your location based upon what people need. Listen to people. Keep your ear to the ground. Get out. Be amongst people. Move. Do not sit at home. Watch YouTube. Uh, Once again, I had lunch with a friend today. Normally, I don't have lunch. Like right now, I'm circulating. I'm getting out here. I'm talking to people. I'm getting a feel for the streets because you're not going to be able to do that in front of this computer. You're going to have to get out, meet people, and do stuff. Start your hustle with 40% of the information. Do not try to figure it all out before you get started because this is a Marine tactic. Uh, Marines uh, make business, well, military moves when they have 70% of the information because by the time they get 100% of the information, conditions have changed. This is real. This is why I said 40%. Uh, no accounts receivable. You, you, you cash and carry. Get a safe deposit box to put your cash in because you don't want to put it in your regular checking account because the um, government is going to be all on these taxes. They're going to be all on these taxes because everybody's broke. Do you know that the government right now, well, it's being mismanaged because of Trump, but the Internal Revenue Service has the lowest level of audits in years. I think this is the lowest level of audits ever because they don't have the staff. Now, why would Trump do something to increase the power of the Internal Revenue Service? Like, once again, this administration, as dysfunctional is, it is great for you getting away with stuff. Uh, I think a small farm is a great idea. Everybody's heard of Dave Ramsey, Victor Felix. Do it, Nigerian Eskimo. Uh, Here's the thing about talking to me. I run seven YouTube channels. So if we're going to talk, it's going to cost. Uh, Logic Reign Supreme have between $10,000 and $30,000 saved. Uh, I keep my own cash and valuables in the case that the banks close temporarily. That is a concern. That's why I say go to safe haven banks. Definitely. All right. So I'm getting ready to bounce. I gave you that information and I'm going to put the links to the never broke action pack here. And then before I let the stream end, I'm going to have to copy everything over here. So the code word is hustle. So y'all do that while, um, because I'm probably going to let that go for a few hours because this got all messed up. But I, I've got a better handle on it. It's still 401. Okay. All right. I know what I'm going to have to do. That is weird. Hold on a second. That. I don't understand why that's happening. Let me see again. Let's see. Uh, Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to make sure. All right. Let's try this. Because uh, I know y'all trying to get this. So bear with me. All right. So. Now, does that one work? The one I just put in. Because I'm going to stay on here and make sure it's done right before I bounce. The code word is hustle. So I know there's like a 30 second delay. So we will see. 
Um, Master Rod, former Marine, currently a facilities manager, wants to start a custom furniture company. How do I analyze market needs? All right, I'm already telling you something with this. If you want to start a furniture company in today's current environment, you need to be very well capitalized. Do you have three years of living expenses on hand right now? A well swims rooms and houses in LA rent for 800 a month. Sometimes a shared room. I'm going to tell y'all some that, you know, you don't want to hear there's chicks out there who are giving it up for a room and they ain't giving it up just one time. They giving it up every night for a room. It is hard out here in these streets. Look, I'm doing very well. I eliminated my debt. I eliminated a lot of overhead because what's going to happen is like the business model I had before that people I have, they're not going to be able to pay me. So instead of waiting for everything to melt down, I'm building my house and making moves now because typically it is better to make moves under your own volition than to be forced to make moves. All right. I don't get it. Because this is funny. Whenever I put a link in the live streams, somehow it doesn't. I think this is YouTube. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to end this, but I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy all the keywords and everything, and it's going to be directly under the video. So you can go ahead, and it'll still be the discount and everything. That's YouTube. YouTube is gremlin. I mean, YouTube is, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. <laughs> All right. So once again, give me about two minutes. Uh, I'm going to transfer this because I, I got to end this to put the link under the stream. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Hold, wait a minute. Let me think about this. Hold on one minute. Like I tell you how to figure out stuff, I'm figuring out stuff because uh, this is a fourth way to do live streaming on YouTube. All right. So, uh huh. That's interesting. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do. is today's special 50% off never broke action pack uh promo code is hustle okay now wait a minute <laughs> what is going on with this YouTube is like all right there it is all right, so today's special, 50% off, never broke action pack is below the video. That link should work. Let me click it. Yep, that takes you there. So I'm going to stay on and make sure someone gets that before there's any things. Um, so we'll answer some more questions. The link is below the video right now, and the promo code is hustle, and I'm going to leave that after the stream happens. I know. I am Superman Clark Kent. That's just weird. Master Rod, thank you. I have two years living expenses saved. 
house, three fourths paid off, no car note, less than 10K in credit card debt, and still working 17 years at the same job. Okay, you want to knock out that 10K of credit card debt, and then you want to build your business slowly. Now, the never now the um, 30 days to 2500 will help you with that. That's only 99 bucks regular price. And so you can go ahead and grab that. The link's below the video. But you want to knock out that 10K because that's still a monthly bill. Uh, 89 Dr. Funk. 89 Dr. Funk. Credit unions are great. That is wow, Raymond Cherry. <laughs> YouTube's become the Gestapo. Uh, Rock Osaka, do service businesses do well during a recession? It depends on what kind of service business it is. Will a private care home do well in a recession? Depends on if you can find people who have the money to pay you. See, when this is what's going to happen. All the people who are poor are going to fall off first. Then the people who are kind of mildly poor, they're going to fall off second. And then the, you just gonna have calamity. <laughs> Logan Paul vlogs. <laughs> that ain't real. That is not real. All right. So then, anyone have a problem getting the Never Broke Action Pack? Is anyone able to go ahead and get it? Go ahead and hit that link and let me know if it works. I'm telling you, YouTube is misbehaving today. I don't know what's going on with it. So. Uh, Zola, do you believe that the algorithms are instructed to? Could be, because that, that's been a problem. 89 Dr. Funk, that's why old girl snapped on YouTube. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's talk about that for a minute. Do you understand how many of these kids have been making their, I mean, money from YouTube since they graduated high school? And YouTube has moved that cheese. There's a lot of anger out there. Now, imagine they ain't making money now. They don't have any marketable skills other than YouTube. And then a recession hits. That's rough. Dang, Stefan, you got jokes. <laughs> you got jokes, man. All right. Well, once again, I'm getting ready to bounce. The link is below the video. 50% off the Never Broke Action Pack. I'm going to leave it there for a few hours because of all the problems that we had in this stream. And then I'm going to figure out something else. Good, good deal, Hot Song Beats. All right. Uh, thanks for showing me. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment when the stream renders, and I will see you guys later. Tomorrow, in fact. Don't know the time, but I will see you tomorrow. A business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel They'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is 
that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now I keep telling everybody that I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, becoming a boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, Hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2,500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. 
Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me. Uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see.
Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting that generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So this is true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.